Welcome to another 40 over 40. I am your instructor, Shani, and I'm going to be leading you through the craziness of this session. Now, 40 minutes of exercise for anybody over 40. And yeah, 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 if you're under 40, welcome. You can stay. So we're going to start by rolling out our shoulders. Big circles for me all the way back. Roll the arms forward, big circle. Now, today we're going to be doing a full body workout, okay? Big breath in, all the way down, breathing into the back of the legs, and roll up. As you can see, I pulled out a handy step to assist me today. Roll out your ankles, roll it inward. Now, don't worry, if you don't have a step, and you have a short step stool, if you have a crate, any kind of box that elevates you, that's firm and that can tolerate your weight, great. If you don't have anything, it's fine. Half of these exercises can be done with, with no step or elevation. You can do it flat on the floor. Belly button to spine, drive your hips towards me. Just stretching out the quads. Good, other side, pull it in. Knee side by side, belly button to spine. Push your hip forward. Yeah, today's gonna be a serious workout, I won't lie. Rest your foot on the box, whatever you have to elevate yourself. Pushing your butt back, reaching for the toe. So you get a good stretch in the hamstring, you feel the stretch in the calf. Nice and slow, other side. Soften your standing leg, drive your butt back. And reach. Oh yes. Open your knees nice and wide, and just squat down, driving your butt back. Parallel feet, lean forward, and breathe into the back of those legs again. All right. So this is how we are going to start the warm-up. I'm going to start with one foot on my step. As I said, whatever elevation you have, use it. And if you don't have none, do it flat on the ground. I'm going up and over. 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 So the foot that's on the ground is going to replace the foot on this step. So exactly where my foot is placed, I'm going to bring it up and switch. Switch. Keep it rhythmical. Keep it low. Are you ready? Tummy nice and tight. We're going for 20. All right? Push your glutes back. Here we go. And one, tap. Two, tap. Three, bend the knees. Four, go. Five, up and over. Six, heart rate's gonna go up. Seven, eight, nine, there we go. 10, always drive your butt back. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, breathe. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Oh yeah, good way to start, eh? So we're only going to superset two exercises for the warm-up. Two exercises, three rounds. That's how we're warming up, all right? Control the breathing. I know the heart rate's already shooting up. Now, this one is a box jump, and believe me, you are gonna feel it. I'm gonna give you modifications if you can't manage the jump down. So what I want from you, we start with bent knees, narrow squat, wide squat, but we land in a squat and we take it back on. Down, up, down, up. Now, we land ball, heel. Do not slam your foot flat-footed. Now, if you want to step it, step, step. Alternate the side that you're going to do so you don't favor one leg, all right? Or suppose you can manage the jump down, but you want to step on. Entirely up to you. Do what feels right. Do what you're comfortable with. Are you ready? Push your butt back. We're going for 15 box jumps. Remember, ball heel, ball heel. And 
One, a quiet two, three, four, breathe, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Five more, come on. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, yeah, man. I feel those. I feel those, trust me. <sighs> One round down. We got two more rounds to go. Psych up yourself. <sighs> Drive your butt back. Go oh, and. One. Two. Quietly. Three. Ball heel. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Drive your butt back. Eight. Belly button to spine. Nine, ten, ten more, nine more, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Here comes that burn. One. Oh, yes. Sweet Lord. Control your breathing. So remember. Either jump down both feet, step down, do what feels good for you. 15 reps. Whew. Here we go. And one, two, three, four, five. Drive your butt back. Six, seven, eight. Come on. Nine. It's supposed to be challenging. Ten. Five more. Four, two more. Oi, oi, oi. One. Oh, yeah. Lord, deliver me. What a warm up. We'll drink water after the last round. Let's control the breathing. Feet nice and flat. Drive your glutes back. Let's slow the breathing. Ready? And one, two. This is the last of the warm up. Three, four, five, six. Come on. Seven. Drive your glutes back. Eight, nine. Belly button to spine. Ten. 10 more, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Father, friend, we're doing good, control the breathing. Get on your step. Your box, your crate, your step stool, whatever it is. <sighs> Belly button to spine. <sighs> Slow the breathing, Shani. Drive your butt back. Open and close. Quietly. Let's not jar our knees. And one, two, explode. Three. Plyometrics, four, come on. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Five more. Four, three, two, one. We deserve the water break. <laughs> Grab your water. Slow your breathing. Come on, guys. <laughs> yeah, man, those push up my heart rate. Way up. While you catch your breath, we need to remember something. 
we're all a work in progress and we need to be a little bit more gracious to self. You see this concept of supposed to? Oh, we're supposed to be married by a certain age. Oh, I'm a fitness instructor. I'm supposed to be slimmer than I am. Oh, at this stage of my life, I'm supposed to have more job opportunities. Oh, I'm supposed to have more money in my bank account. I'm supposed to, I'm supposed to, I'm supposed to. Who says? Who is setting these criteria for us? You need to. And we need to be realistic and learn to live in a moment. Whatever life has thrown at you, you've reached this point. Stop letting supposed to dictate your mental state and your headspace. All right? You're doing your best that you can do. Now, if you feel that you're not doing your best and you can push forward and you could do a little more, you could try a little harder, do so. But stop beating yourself up. Stop beating yourself up and saying, boy, I'm supposed to. No. To hell with supposed to. Do what you can in the moment and recognize the effort that you're putting out. And if you need to exert more effort and try a little harder and do a little more, then do it. But not because you're supposed to, because you want to and you know you can. I'm over with the supposed to. That used to eat me up a lot. I'm supposed to, especially I'm supposed to be thinner and firmer as a fitness instructor. I do it to myself. I'm supposed to, to hell with that. This is who I am. This is where I'm at at this stage of my life. And it better be good enough. Will I work harder tomorrow? Yeah, I will. I'll try. But I'm not going to be living with the concept of supposed to. Think about it. Supposed to. All right, so we're going to move into two new exercises. Now, this one will be a doozy. It's going to be a combination. It's going to be an advanced combination. You do what you can. So we're going to be giving a box jump onto the step. We're going to come off of the step. We're going to give a push up, box jump, off, turn around and start over. So it's going to look like this. I know I just said a lot. We start with our glutes back. Box jump on, box jump off, in a plank, push up, squat. On, start over. Again. Box jump on, box jump off, plank, push up, on, off, with a sit down, start again. Now remember, you can step it. Step on, push back, step off, step into that plank, Step on, step off to start again. You can slow it down. If you slow it down, maybe you'll get six reps, but we're going for 10, all right? Listen to your bodies. I am challenging you and showing you that you can come out of your comfort zone and do something different. Just because we're over 40, it don't mean we're supposed to act old. We're supposed to succumb to ailments and what the doctor said. The doctors told me a long time that with my herniated discs, I would never be able to do any of this stuff. Supposed to. So we're getting rid of supposed to. Here we go, drive your butts back. We're going for 10, tummy nice and tight. And on, off, plank, push up, in, on, off. Sit down, start over, again, on, off, plank, push up, on, off, sit down, start again, number three, on, off, plank, push up, on, sit, stand, number four, on, off, plank, sit, 
Number five, I'm feeling it now. Push up. Come on. I'm assuming this was six. I lost count. Seven. I think. Eight. Nine. Sweet Jesus. Last one. Ten. Oh. Yeah, man. That's serious. That real serious. Control the breathing. I deserve a sip. I'm not lie. Mm -hmm. So we're going to be supersetting two exercises. That first combination, which was a gazillion exercises in one, and now we're going to simplify it with just abs. We're going to recline sitting at the edge of your bench. Ensure to hold it with your hands, legs up. We're going to lower and lift. So one leg is working at a given time. Now, if you have back issues and you want to keep one leg on the floor, this helps, okay? It cuts some of the pressure off of your lower back. So listen to your body and do what feels okay for you. We're going 10 per leg, sweet Jesus. Are we ready? Chest up, legs up, right leg only moving. And flatten, one, lift, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We have two legs. We will continue now with the left leg. Legs up. Ah, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Oh God. Yeah, man, that really work. The sweat is certainly coming now. So as I said, we're supersetting. So we're going back to our box jump combo. And I'll try and pay attention to the count this time. I think I either gave you an extra one or I stole you one in the last set. Intention is 10. Ready? Drive your butt back and jump on, off, plank, push up, on, sit down, start over. Number two. Sit. Number three. Number four. Number five. Stay focused. We're halfway there. Six. Seven. Come on. Number eight. Mm -hmm. Number nine. Oh God. Number 10. Had to think about that one. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. 
Let's control the breathing. Some may say, if when we've been doing this so long, it's supposed to be easier. Never said it would get easier. You simply get stronger. All right, sit at the edge, chest up, lift the legs, flex your feet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Other leg, straight away. Two, knock it out. Three, lifting your chest. Four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Mother of God. Yeah, man, that rough. We got another set to do. Towel your face, towel your hands. Right now, if you have a slide off the step. Uh huh. We work in, we work in water break at the end of it. We have to work for the water break. <sighs> Sweet Lord. Control the breathing. Pull your belly button to spine. We start by driving the glutes back. The number is 10. Listen to your bodies though. And one. Chest to the bench. Ass to the bench. Number two, on. Chest, ass. Number three, you have the rhythm now. You have the pattern. Four, five. Halfway there, six. Seven. Oh God, eight. Two more. Nine. Oh yeah. Ten. Oh. Mother of God. And all things holy. <laughs> Uh-huh, I felt that. But the good thing is, that's the last of that combination. The legs are like Shani. Try not lift you up one more time. Grab it, chest up, slow your breathing, legs up, and one, two, three, Four, five, six, come on, seven, eight, chest up, nine, ten, switch, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, come on, five, four, three, two, one. We made it. Get your water. Towel off. Slow your breathing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was a hard set, I won't lie. I'm feeling it too. It was a hard set. Yeah, 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 stop complaining.
we need to remember that we are creatures created by the lives we've lived, what we've been through, what we've experienced, and trauma is a hell of a thing that has been a reality for many of us. And trauma doesn't have to be so great and so grand like a massive car accident or a robbery or the death of somebody you love. Everybody internalizes negative experiences differently. So your trauma can't be compared to somebody else's. You can't change a trauma that has happened to you, but you can choose to learn from it and either make you better or it will make you bitter. It's a choice. I keep telling people, no matter how hard life is and what we're going through, we still have a choice at the end of the day. People keep telling me that they have no control in their life. They have no choice to make. They have, that's a lie. Don't make your brain lie to you. We always have a choice. We can't change our trauma. We can't change what has happened in the past, but we can change how we view it. We can change if we're gonna make it serve us by it being a teachable moment. We can change if we're gonna carry that trauma and allow it to make us bitter. Or you can choose to learn from it and make you better. The choice is entirely yours. Nobody said it would be easy, but you still have a choice. We need to all stop playing victim to our experiences in our lives. Something has happened to us, something robbed us once already. Don't let it keep robbing you over and over and over. All right? I don't care what it was. The harsh truth is some of us go through some serious shit. But just because one person dealt with X and another person dealt with Y, your burden is your burden. Stop comparing yourself to other people. Choose, will your trauma make you bitter or better? We still have a choice. Now that you have caught your breath, you're gonna go for a heavy weight. I'm just gonna pull my step back and we're gonna go into Bulgarian split lunges. Now I'm pulling out my big boys, which are 20 pound weights. A Bulgarian split lunge, one foot is elevated behind you. Now, if you're not comfortable with a Bulgarian and you want to do a standard lunge, that's okay. Now, we're gonna step forward and place the other foot behind you. Make sure you look for the step here. <laughs> We are bending the back knee and I want you to stay slightly hinged forward. Don't be completely upright. Drive the butt back and the back knee, the intention is you want it to almost go to the floor. So with that, you're pressing through the glute of that front leg. All right? We're going into another superset. With the Bulgarian split lunge, I only need eight lunges per leg. Eight lunges, listen to your body. Don't let the front knee project over your toe. Here we go. My weights are in hand. I cock up my foot. Belly button pulls the spine. Tailbone under. And one, press through the front heel. Two, three, activate the glute of that front leg. Four, five, six, eyes straight down to the floor. Seven, and eight. Step together, other leg. Check and make sure your foot, balance shiny, is on the step. Here we go. One, hinge forward. Two, three, Pull the body weight back. Four, five, lower, six, seven, and eight. Step together, weights down. Yeah, that was good. That was real good. 
No, I said we're supersetting. The next one, we're gonna be doing a shoulder press into a push-up burpee. Ah, what's with Shani and all these combinations? I know, I'm feeling ambitious today. But we're only gonna do eight because I want you to press the heaviest weights you can. All right? So I'm gonna use the 20 pounds and I'm gonna show you the combination. Mm. Right beside my step. Let me make sure I'm centered. So you're gonna give me hammer, press, take it down. So I'm in a squat position, take it back into a plank, push up, my heels have to go down, stand, yeah? So once again, always start with a tight tummy. Hammer, press, release. So I'm in a squat position. You can step back. Take it to the push-up. Step in, stand. All right? We're only going for eight. And if you need to do the push-ups, and lower to your knees, listen to your body. But if you're going on your knees, you need to get a mat. Don't put your knees on a hard surface. Here we go. Just eight reps. Tummy tight. Let's pick up the weights. Push your butt back. And one. Press, release, squat, push up. In, heels down. Two. Push up, heels down. Three, keep your belly button to spine. Push up. Four, we're halfway there. Five, remember you can step it if you need to. Six. Seven. One more. Eight. Oh, Christ. <laughs> yeah, man. I feel accomplished. <laughs> Towel off. The sweat is running. Quick sip of your water. Hmm. All right, so we're going back again into the Bulgarian split lunge. Oh yes, yeah, Shani, you're avoiding, stop avoiding. <laughs> That's why you know, say my body tired. So one leg in front, reach back, make sure your foot is in the center of your step, pull your body weight back, belly button to spine, press through your front heel, and eight, seven, six, come on, press through that, use that glute, five, four, that front leg, three, that's glute that's working, two, one. Have to double check, check your balance, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Mercy. Oh, yeah. We got this. If it doesn't challenge us, 
it will never change us. We can't be complacent. Gotta stop wishing for what you want and work for what you want. Are you ready? <laughs> and pick up the weights. One. Place them. Take it back into your push-up. Heels down. Two. Down. Belly button to spine. Come on. Three. Four. Don't hold your breath, guys. Breathe. Five. We have a habit. When things are hard, we we'll hold our breath. Six. Breath is life. Seven. We're right there. One more. And eight. Mm -hmm. Have no energy today. I started a juice cleanse, just three days, but three days liquid. So needless to say, I'm running on fumes. <laughs> but I said, I'm gonna show up for you guys, regardless of what my reality is, and it was a choice. I did choose to do my cleanse this week, because every now and again, I just need a reset. And I start the reset of my body and my mind and my food consumption with a little three-day juice cleanse to kick my ass into gear. Yeah, everything with me is extreme. My husband says, Shani, you can't do nothing. Slow and subtle. You have to just braps, jump in it. So, yeah, that's me. Come on, Shani, if you're showing up, you're showing up. Stop bitching and complaining. <laughs> Here we go. Last round, guys. One, two, slightly hinge forward. Three, press through your heel. Four, five, come on. Six, seven, and eight. Step together. Reach back. Trust where the step is. <laughs> One. Two, hinge forward. Three, press through that front heel. Four, to activate the glute. Five, six, seven, and eight. Oh yeah. We got this. We got this. Last set of push-ups. Last set of shoulder press. We realized everything today was combinations. I know, it was crazy. We did a lot of combinations today. But that's why I got a full body workout. Say thank you, Shani. Let's do this. Pick up the weight. Ah, one. Push up. Two. We're right there. We're gonna finish strong. Three. Keep your tailbone tucked under. Four. Five. Six, listen to your body if you have to. Seven. Mm 
Mm-hmm. Last one. Eight. Thank you, Jesus. Ah, oh, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. That took everything out of me today. That was real good. I needed this. I certainly needed this. We're going to stretch. Hmm. So today, when I was getting dressed to come and film for you guys, and I put on my clothes, and I put on the shorts, and I looked in the mirror, and I'm just like, damn, Shani, you're really going up on camera and film with all of the cellulite in your leg, with all of the loose skin, with all the varicose veins. And you know what I said? I said to hell with it, wear the damn shorts. I'm forever preaching to people, just wear the damn shorts. When I jump, everything upon my body shake. But guess what? The journey of my life has given me this body. I've gone from 200 pounds down to 126 pounds. I've gone back up to 150 and I will drop weight again. My body expands and contracts and moves with the flow of my life. My body is testimony to the life I've lived and experiences I've had. So why am I gonna keep cutting it and keep hiding it? Free up yourself, wear the damn shorts. Cellulite or no cellulite. Saggy skin or no saggy skin. It's your body. We're gonna stretch. Reach all the way up. It's about embracing, life is too short to be caught up with these trivial things. And all the way down, breathe into the back of the leg. Roll up again. Hands up, interlock those fingers. Self-love comes from self-acceptance. Accepting where you are and loving yourself at every stage, every size. Right heel on the step. Bend your standing leg, push your butt back and reach. Forget about supposed to. I was once a mystery maker. I'm supposed to be skinny and thin and flawless bullshit. Says who? I'm a fitness instructor, so I'm supposed to always have a certain look. Says who? I'm a mother of three. I'm supposed to always have my shit together. Says who? Parallel feet, reach down. And roll up. Excellent job today, guys. Really proud of you. Keep loving on yourself and embracing where you're at in that given moment. Until next time.